Alrighty, hello everybody. Well, we're going to kind of go to the end on this one. I've already finished the work and I'm going to see if my work uh, worked. See if my fix worked. I have to take carburetors back off this bike. Remember this bike from uh, 11 months ago. 11 months. Is this thing recording? Hang on. Okay. See if we can get this thing to run. Huh? Right. Choke. Key on. Choke. So this is kind of the ending and the beginning. Last year, 11 months ago, went through this whole bike. You can see it on my Selling Guy 60. Basically, it's set for seven years. I pulled the carburetors off and rebuilt them, put a bunch of new stuff on it, um, got it running. Keith drove it for, you know, months. And then he went for a trip to Arkansas. Well, while he's in Arkansas, he stopped and picked up some gas in some backwater dive. And they gave him something to take with him. You can see the bottom here. Look right there. See that? See all that stuff there? Let me see if I can tip it forward and you can see it better. There we go. Let's tip it forward. See all that stuff right there? That's water. Yay! Water! And crap in the gas. He got it for free. <laughs> they didn't even charge him for all the crap in his gas. So, the bike wouldn't run. And he had some stuff back in the carburetor. Now let's see if I can have to take this thing out of here and show you what I drained out of the carburetors. So that mess there, see all that stuff floating around in there? That's the stuff that came out of the carburetors. And this is all the junk that came out of the tank. And this is coating. That coating I put in the tank is peeling off. So this tank is junk. You know, we that thing was all full of rust, and if you watch it, I took a pound of rust out of that thing. I kid you not, I took all kinds of stuff out of that. Thought I had it coated, but you know, I can't see far into that back of the tank, some places in the tank, I can't see, so it just rusted and fell apart. And 
So I spent three hours doing the carbs again. Which I didn't need to show again. So, uh, hopefully this thing's fixed. He's going to have to find a gas tank for it, which is going to be kind of hard. Because this is an irregular gas tank where your, your pit cocks off to the one side. This one, the pit cocks in the middle because you know, we'll have to see this here on the other side where the pit cock usually is on most motorcycles. Here's your pit cocks over here somewhere. Well, this one. This is the, it's where the, that's the, I just bypassed it here. This is the fuel inlet right here. So the pitcock is right here in the middle, in between the two, right in the middle of the tank. Because you can't have it here, because when it comes down, the pitcock would be hitting the top of this head, because these things are so, this is a V-twin. The heads are so big. So I don't know if we can find another, um, gas tank for this this is like a this is a 93 shadow and um, you know it's 30 years old I don't know if we can find another gas tank for this or not it's gonna be interesting on another side note the uh, I sold my ATV that's that's down the road and gone and uh, so next thing to do is see if we can't find a tank <laughs> easier said than done so I'll start this a few more times to make sure I, everything's running right and uh, this is the last time I'm working on this bike <laughs> letting you know Keith <laughs> uh, screws up again take it to the motorcycle guy because I'm done with this thing yeah it's, it's a bear it's a bear so that was my fun weekend. This is Rick here at Get Her Done. I don't have my hat to show you. I'm wearing my I'm wearing my Joe hat today, and uh, it's the first one I grabbed off the top of my hat pile. And, uh, that's gonna be it for a while. I hopefully, don't have any projects that I know of unless one falls in my lap that I'll that I will um, post. But it's been a while. All right. See ya.